Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. And today we're carrying on our conversation about dealing with difficulties, what to do in challenging situations. Um, and we looked last time about having our horse better prepared by practicing all our basics, um, our foundation, when things are nice and calm, you know, refining that as much as possible. And this is so important. Um, and not only for dealing with difficulties for everything we're going to do, but <laughs> of course it all starts with ourselves. So the most important thing is always our own state of being and how can we adjust that to be more helpful to our horse, to make it easy for our horse to do the right thing and not get into trouble, you know? And that of course is our responsibility to keep our horse out of trouble. So I'm standing here under this um, lovely big tree and that's kind of the feeling we want to give, isn't it? Of just being there and solid and calm. You know, just to stand under a tree, you feel ah, it's always a nice place to be. So how to give that feeling to our horses, you know? And again, it's something we have to practice when everything's all nice and calm and things are okay. You know, it's like that thing I always think when you go on a, a retreat or a meditation thing, you know, it's all very well when everybody's there being all um, and peaceful. <laughs> but when you're suddenly um, confronted with an obnoxious person or someone's winding you up or whatever things <laughs> that's when it really matters and that's when it counts you know so we need to practice in the calmness to be able to be that um safe secure solid still silent <laughs> place <laughs> when the chaos is raining all around and you know for me this is the base of everything we do and my online course is really um, looking at that more than anything else you know it's not really giving a system or telling you what to do with your horse it's more a state of being a way of being you know not what you do but how you do it so there we will do all kinds of fun exercises together that we practice being that safe still place for our horses and I know people have said to me often in the past oh yeah but you know it's all very well if you have a natural way with them or whatever and you know maybe some people it comes easier to them because of their life experience but I really believe everybody can learn to be that and in the process of learning to be that calm still place that you know we become a better human being and are much more capable of dealing with other things throughout the rest of our life so I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check that out. We also have some um, workshops we're starting to put out online just to take advantage of also the digital space and reach more people that are around the same themes of, you know, how to be that place where horses like to be and people. <laughs> So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, look forward to see you next time and keep on tuning into the light.